the real transformation takes place one's life when he or she literally changes his morning routine okay so uh, welcome to another source of wisdom from jilson kj and uh, when i say this you may think oh this is a universal advice there are so many people who advocate some morning habits routines and etc and etc so you might have heard heard of it and uh, and you may be in an opinion that you are not a morning person but a night person etc and etc frankly speaking even i haven't realized it for the long 40 years and i always believed that mm, i am a night person or i am not a morning person but uh, once i hit my 40s i decided to make that paradigm shift and i have decided to wake up at 5 am and trust me that has incredibly rewarded me and it really really helped me to change my uh, personal professional financial and emotional well being so it is not only just a transformation in one area of my life it has literally transformed almost every area of my life and i started advocating this uh, methods to my clients who builds their online business coaching or consulting and i wanted them strictly in a regimented ways to follow the system and i thought at this moment to share my bullet proof morning routine to you so that you can replicate the same amount of well being that can be emotional physical mental spiritual and including financial so let me share my mornings with you that exactly how i do so um usually i wake up at 5 am every day since uh, 2020 why 2020 means you know uh, that was the time then covid hit and uh, i i was so irregular in my uh, sleeping patterns and morning patterns then i wanted to change that completely and i picked up the book atomic habits and it really even deeply helped me to build my habit formatting and since then i started at 5 am in the morning and uh, once i wake up i just sat on my bed itself and i spent 5 minutes on a small prayer um you can say it as a prayer or gratitude so five minutes maybe you may you may not be a religious person you don't maybe you may not be believing in the power of prayer but i say uh, whatever it is your uh, uh prejudice or preoccupied ideas in your mind i don't want to argue or i don't want to correct you but what i mean by the word prayer is of say gratitude so to express a gratitude to express a five minutes prayer you don't need to be a religious person or um, you can be even an atheist but at the moment we can express our gratitude to the universe so after my five minutes prayer on my bed i just come out and try brush up brush and fresh up so that takes um that takes almost 10 minutes and uh, once i fresh up i come back to my room and i sat on a meditation so my meditation take place in around 15 minutes which is i keep alarm and or keep the timings and the practice but uh, you know you can't have a thoughtless state 
your mind will be almost occupied and busy with uh, thinking of uh, or doing a lot of stuff in the days and coming days and now and it will be jumbling from present to past and um, I mean future to past and past to future but in a time of 15 minutes when I spend all I do is I just focus on my breath and whenever my mind goes out I just bring my attention back to my breath and in uh, 15 minutes I may be having two to three minutes a completely thoughtless state and my purpose is to get that two to three minutes so I do uh, my meditation and uh, this is regimented every day it starts from 5 15 to 5 30 so I have a very fixed timings for meditation and I have a very fixed place for meditation. I just, uh, you know, I just keep my yoga mat down and I sit and do it. So once after my meditation, I actually deeply practice 20 minutes of pranayama or breathing session. So those who want to uh, know more about breathing, uh, if you have some connection to it with yoga and breathing exercise, that will be fine. So what I do in my uh, 20 minutes, during my 20 minutes, the first uh, five minutes I do deep yogic breathing. So that is very simple. Um, just lie on your yoga mat, keep your right hand on your abdomen, left hand on your chest, and all you can just Keep deep breath in and holding the breath as much as you can, as long as you can and deep exhaling and again deep inhaling, holding the breath and exhaling. The second uh, pranayama that I do is uh, um, one of the most famous and most common breathing practices that's called uh, Anulom Vilom. So it's very simple, just uh, um, inhale through the left nose and hold it for eight seconds and exhale through the right and inhale through right and hold it and exhale through left. So one cycle ends there. And from there, uh, with I, this is what I do for six cycles. So once I complete that six cycles, I do a pranayama called Kabalbati. That is a pumping of air out that I don't think I can, maybe I will be doing a, a separate video on these two, two uh, breathing practices. So you can check in the coming videos. So after that, I that these three practices ends up in 15 minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, and I take a deep uh, relaxation for five minutes. And uh, there comes my next to one hour, so 5:50. So after relaxation, I wake up and get ready. Things, if anything goes wrong or things okay, I just start practicing yoga. So I do yoga deep stretchings for one long hour and I don't compromise and uh, breathe, yoga practice also I combine with the deep breathing so uh, I don't I don't say that you should do yoga itself you can just go for a walking or you can hit your gym and you can work out you can go for a jogging so see uh, it depends on the environment you live but I personally prefer to do yoga in the morning and uh, you know uh, I'm not a lot yoga I sometimes I go to the gym hit gym and lift weights and sometimes I go for a long walk in the evenings. So these are all part of my exercise pattern, but morning I dedicate my time to do yoga. And uh, 7.15, almost 7, uh, 7 o'clock, uh, my uh, yoga practice ends up. Then I get on and get into my kitchen and, uh, and uh, I get a cup of coffee and I just sit and relax and refresh, have my coffee. Then after I take bath. So by 7.30 my bath will be over 
and then I come back to my room, then I have a deep mindset practices, which my, which was actually initiated by my mentor. And since then I do it. So I immerse into the mindset practices. I visualize things and I make it as a part of my life. I in, involve or indulge into completely. So this exact mindset practices, I even um, gave my students for uh, clients for them to practice into their day-to-day -day life. And uh, after my mind practice, mindset practice is over and um, I pick up one book, any of the book which I have collected as a resources. So mostly I don't read. See, uh, some years back, I usually read wide, 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 wide stuff. But now I read focused on my uh, area of expertise so that I can collect notes and so that I can reproduce that knowledge and help someone or understand deeply about what exactly I'm doing. So this is what I do. I read books and collect, take notes. Sometimes it can be journal, sometimes it can be a PDF or it can be a lead magnet uh, given by somebody else. But see, uh, if it is, and mostly I did books on uh, marketing, sales, mindset, and habits, and uh, the foundations of building business. These are the areas I am keenly interested. So I read those books. And recently I got interested in reading books like uh, Minimalism. And I realized less is more. I, through practicing it. So that are, that are some of the books I read. And I don't just read uh, hundreds of pages every day, but I read um, 10 or maybe five to 10 pages in an hour and to deeply absorb the knowledge and collect the data, collect the knowledge, and I even try to reproduce. So then Parker, I ends up my reading and after I go for breakfast and I have breakfast and there starts my work. So I scheduled my day and the productivity which has tenfolded, which increased in my life and it has rewarded me heavily. And I think this will help you to have a better great life. So with that note, uh, let, let me conclude this session and uh, see you tomorrow with another toss of wisdom. Thank you.